we will kick it off with Savannah and Jennifer, and they will be presenting Come Here or Go Away, Identifying Challenges to Scholarly, Wik Scholarly Wikipedia Editing. Go ahead and uh, take it away. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Savannah Cragen. I am the Conference on College Composition and Communication, or the Four C's, Wikimedia in Residence. Before I hand things off to Jennifer to get us started, I just want to give a brief overview of the 4C Wikipedia Initiative. Um, the 4C is generally is the largest professional association of scholars and teachers of composition and rhetoric in higher education in the US. And the initiative was developed in 2019 out of this effort to organize writing scholars and humanities scholars more broadly who are interested in addressing knowledge inequities in Wikipedia articles related to their fields of expertise. Um, and now I will go ahead and hand it off to Jennifer. Hi, everyone. I'm Jennifer Johnson. I'm a continuing lecturer in the writing program at University of California, Santa Barbara. I have been working with the 4Cs Wikipedia Initiative as an editor for the past couple of years. And uh, prior to that, I took two of the Wiki Education Scholars and Scientists courses, which was sort of my um, entree into editing Wikipedia. So the primary question that we're here to talk about today is, are humanities scholars really welcome to edit Wikipedia? The very existence of the Four Seas Wikipedia initiative and other initiatives like it would suggest so. Um, but at the same time, if so, then why are so few humanities scholars, in fact, doing this work? And what barriers do they face as they attempt to engage in this work? As you all know, Wikipedia exhorts new editors to be bold, right? In other words, they should go for it, which seems like great advice and a great way to welcome people in. Uh, but that said, uh, my own experience with being bold as a humanities scholar is uh, that I've had a great number of my edits reverted. Sometimes that's by bots. Sometimes it's by zealous editors. Um, it's usually pretty quick, right? Within minutes, if not like immediately uh, upon, you know, me hitting publish changes. Sometimes the, the argument is that the edits that I've made were not encyclopedic enough. Other times, it's that they uh, that the notability criteria was not met in if I'm writing about a particular scholar or something. Um, I also one time was busted for copyright violation, which granted is totally on me. Uh, but that too was was kind of an experience where I was trying to be bold and I just kind of got screwed up in in the the ways in which I, uh, Wikipedia thinks about re using references and so on. Um, so according to McDowell and Vetter's Wikipedia and the representation of reality, writing on Wikipedia as a new user can be incredibly frustrating for a variety of reasons and often results in turning would-be editors away. Um, another text, Ian Ramjohn and Leanna Davis make a similar point in Five Journeys from Wiki Education when they say, over time we develop policies designed to codify quality standards. But in our single-minded pursuit of quality, we ended up creating a labyrinth of rules and guidelines that keep all but the most dedicated newcomers out. So Savannah's going to talk a little bit about some of these barriers. Yeah, so um, what are some of these rules, guidelines, and editing processes that make it so difficult for scholars in the humanities to get involved? I'm gonna broadly review three major barriers that I've observed um, from 4C Wikipedia Initiative participants. Before I dive in, I quickly wanna reference that same book that Jennifer just did, um, Wikipedia and the Representation of Reality. Um, they point out that, quote, to participate fully and equitably in the encyclopedia and to gain agency and power in that system requires a substantial amount of technical, procedural, and legalistic knowledge, end quote. And these procedures end up excluding many newcomers due to the amount of volunteer time needed to engage in and learn how to edit on a new platform that's not very intuitive. So the first specific barrier that participants have encountered is navigating the draft space. And the draft space allows editors to submit article drafts for review by more experienced Wikipedia editors. And I used to really encourage scholars to post their article drafts for review in this space because scholars really like receiving feedback. They really like peer review. 
Um, but this turned out to be a pit where participants were battling to get their articles published. And this led to burnout and caused to battles over the notability of the article subject. Um, and I wanna mention that many of the articles uh, scholars create from scratch are biographies because it's a bit more manageable than diving into direct editing on a more foundational or field specific article in the main space. Um, so one short term um, solution that we are now implementing is kind of cutting out the draft space altogether and using an internal peer review process through uh, the 4C Wikipedia Initiative's dedicated wiki project, wiki project writing, which is like a collaborative hub for Wikipedia editors interested in improving articles related to writing. Um, and I quickly want to uh, show you an example of Brian. Uh, Brian is an instructor with the UCSD writing program and a fairly new Wikipedia editor uh, who worked with Jennifer. He has been trying to get an article published on scholar Dr. Linda Adler Kasner, but continues to try and fight for notability. Um, and if you're new to Wikipedia editing, community generated guidelines on notability govern what types of articles can be published on Wikipedia. So I quickly want to show you the draft article um and what it currently looks like so you can get a sense of you know what the issues are and why it leads to so much burnout so you can see that it first got declined nine months ago and it's still sitting here and a lot of the comments are helpful um to kind of get brian more accustomed to writing in an encyclopedic style um, but then some of them are mostly on you know figuring out notability and um just trying to make it so they justify that this person really needs to be on Wikipedia. All right. Um, so investigating this problem a little bit further, it has become really clear with, through these experiences in the draft space that the current Wikipedia guidelines are biased towards traditional academic reward system, which can exclude marginalized teacher scholars. Um, and to kind of move more towards changing this, it's important to recognize that many scholars in the humanities do not have independent sources where they are the subject, but rather sources about their scholarship or the impact that they've had on their field. So um, it's important to consider this as well as investigate and do more research on what quality sources mean in the humanities um, and within the field of writing studies more specifically. Lastly, I would really quickly wanna go over usability, which kind of puts a big shadow over the rest of these barriers. Um, a common concern I get from participants is how to interact with our organizing pages, uh, which allow users to access resources and collaborate with other participants after these virtual workshops that we host. Um, and a lot of them mention feeling scared to edit the organizing page because they don't want to mess it up or they can't figure out how to edit it properly. Um, and this is even further exacerbated for disabled participants. Um, and I just want to emphasize that learning how to orient themselves with Wikipedia should be the priority, not the event page. Um, and so that is a really big barrier that we need to work on investigating a bit more. So all of this leads us to, well, what kind of research is then needed to learn how humanity scholars can overcome the barriers to contributing meaningfully to Wikipedia? There's two projects in particular that I'm um, working on getting off the ground. And the first is to survey 4C's Wikipedia initiative members in order to ask them about their satisfaction levels with editing Wikipedia and identifying where they've experienced either bottlenecks or breakthroughs as they engage in this work. My hope is that that information could then provide a feedback loop back for Savannah and the other 4C's Wikipedia initiative organizers so that they could um, develop uh, resources and educational materials that would really help people you know, learn what they need to know. And secondly, I'm interested in interviewing Wiki education staff members to identify strategies that 4C's initiative participants can adopt from the Scholars and Scientists program, given that uh, Wiki education has had great success in getting uh, their participants um, you know, going with making edits. And uh, so I think we have a lot to learn from them as well. Thank you all. That's all the time we have. Um, and we're happy to answer questions in the chat. And you can also email us if you have follow-up questions. Yes, um, thank and thanks you. to the organizers too. <laughs>